What's up, Brandon Sway here. Today we're going to do the tier list for the bench press. The final one kind of talked last time how the squat and the deadlift one went. Pretty entertaining, if you ask me. Uh, so we're going to do the bench press tier list, and let's see what we've got here. So let me pull up the other one for me, for myself here. Hopefully you can see this okay. So again, what we're going to do with this one... Again, I don't make these, so here's my disclaimer on this really quickly. This is not my tier list. Somebody else made this. I'm going to be ranking these exercises that people put on here. Also, I will say that some of these exercises um, I don't agree with. It's not what I would make. I've not looked at this in advance. I pulled it up. I, I browsed through just to make sure that it actually had some stuff that I could use. And we're essentially going to go off of how is this done to help your bench press competitively improve the amount you can bench press. That's the only thing we're after here. So keep that in mind. S tier is going to be the best and we go all the way down to D tier here, um, which would be almost an F if you want to look at this, but basically how we're going to handle this. So let's get started. And just like the last one, that was kind of comical. First thing we got is the airdyne useless, not going to do anything. Uh, maybe to get your blood flow going, but honestly, I'm not doing anything with the airdyne to help my bench press. Next is going to be a seal row. Ooh, I actually like this. I am going B tier. I think in terms of upper back and rowing variations, seal row is one of the best you can do because you can be strict with it. If you can use a cambered bar to increase your range of motion, even better. Um, so I really like that exercise. Uh, this next one looks like a rear delt fly standing with a cable machine. Um, I'm going to go C tier. Not my preferred way to do something like this. It's not awful, but it certainly could be improved. But attacking your upper back, uh, rear delts, and everything helps stabilize your bench press. So that can be a pretty good thing. Uh, next is going to be seated cable row. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this on C tier, but I'm going to put it above that. I think it's not a bad rowing variation. It's really going to come down to the attachment that you're going to use. And if you're using a junky attachment, you're not going to be range of motion. You're not going to develop your lats a whole lot, but if you got something you get big range of motion could be good. So it's good. It's just not as good as the pin lay row or I'm sorry, the pin lay row, the um, seal row, not even close next cambered bar bench press S tier for sure. My only caveat here is going to be ensuring that your shoulders can handle the range of motion because that camber can be pretty big, put a lot of undue stress on your shoulders. So as long as your shoulders check out, if you're trying to build your bench press, cambered bar bench press needs to be an exercise that you're visiting if you have access to one. That's probably the only thing that hurts this exercise is not too many gyms have them. You got to definitely go to a powerlifting or a real training facility to find one. Next is going to be the chest supported row machine, I'm going to put this below the seal row. I think the seal row feels better. Um, you're obviously training directly in terms of the line of pull opposite of your bench press. I guess I should say opposite, but uh, but the chest supported row machine is not quite as close, but it's way more convenient. So if you don't have the ability to seal row, this is probably going to be your next best bet. Um, again, here's this little sweeper guy that was on the last one. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to skip it. Um, we've got a bench press one here and I honestly can't tell what he's doing. Um, based on his hand position, we're going to go with closed grip bench press. And I'm actually going to put this behind the cambered bar. Um, just because I've seen the closed grip not help some people or they just flare really badly. Um, for me personally, I would put it above the cambered bar. Uh, just because I get a lot of carryover out of the close grip bench press, but some people do not. Um, where the cambered bar bench press is always going to help your strength off the chest. It's like guaranteed where the close grip bench press should help your main bench press, but I've seen some people, because they flare so hard on their close grip bench press, uh, they have some issues. Um, I don't know what he's doing. I... I <laughs> I first want to think this was a floor press, um, but it looks like he might just be actually bench pressing. So we're going to say he's bench pressing, which obviously specificity is coming first. So duh, bench press to bench press. Next is going to be a dumbbell shoulder press or overhead press. 
<sighs> Probably your bench press. It's not bad. I'm going to go with top of C tier. It's definitely better than the than the row, um, the CD cable row. But it's not not an exercise I'm going to. I'm thinking about a whole whole lot about. Um, if shoulders are a direct weakness, then I like doing the seated for sure. But um, yeah, not not my thing. The dumbbell pullover for your bench press, go in D tier. Not by a lot, but I mean, it's just not going to help your bench press a whole lot. Um, if you do it from a decline and you hook up a band, it can help, help teach you how to keep things in your lats. But outside of that, not a big fan. Um, man, this next one, I don't really know what he's doing. It looks like he's doing a rear delt raise. Like, seated on the bench. Kind of a weird-looking thing. Um, just because I don't know what it is, we're going to put it here. Um, we'll just say he's doing rear delt raises, and that's what it is. And it's not as bad as that cable one, because I don't really know. I, I need more context. Let's put it that way. So we'll put the bottom of C tier. Tripod dumbbell row. We're going to go B tier. Uh, big fan of this for just overall upper back strength and rowing. It's good. Decline dumbbell benching. Ugh. Man, if I'm being honest, not a big decline guy. Do it sporadically for people having shoulder issues because you're in a much safer range of motion. But that's about it. Um, we'll go bottom of B tier. I think it's I think it's better. Ah, now I see the overhead press. We're actually gonna go below the overhead press. We're gonna go C tier. Change my mind. Dips, A tier for sure. Definitely think one of the best accessory exercises you can do to improve your bench press. Again, caveat, so long as your shoulders feel like you can handle it. This little hat thing, nope, no idea what it is. Regular dumbbell bench press, yep. I'm actually going to put this above the dip, not by a lot, um, but you can get a bigger range of motion with the dumbbells. I think it carries over better, but I still think dips are that fantastic exercise. Floor press. Go in A tier or S tier. I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's a really good supplemental exercise. Probably one of the best ones that you can do outside of you know, like a close grip bench or something like that. Um, the only issue here is if you've got long arms, this may be relegated to an A tier just because you're going to not have quite as big a range of motion as people with shorter arms. So just keep that in mind. Uh, dumbbell bicep curl. We are going D tier. Honestly, the only time you probably need these to help your bench press is if your shoulders, or I'm sorry, your elbows feel like trash. So, not going to be a huge help. Uh, putting some mass in your arms sometimes can help it bind up if you're on like a shirt or something. But from a raw, it's it's one of the last things you probably need to focus on. It's not that you shouldn't, just not what I would go with. Um, I honestly can't tell. I look like he's benching with a buffalo bar. I'm going to say he's doing a buffalo bar bench press. In which case, we're going to go S tier. We're going to put it above the close grip bench press because uh, there's a, it's kind of a makeshift cambered bar, um, but I do like it. It has helped me tremendously, which is that extra inch range of motion. Does a good job of teaching tightness on the chest. No question. Half kneeling cable row. Honestly, a good lat exercise. Um, I just don't know how much it helps your bench press. Honestly, it's not something I really think about, um, but because of the line of pull, I like it. So we'll put it above the seated cable row. How about that? I like it better than that for lat recruitment. Honestly, that'd be the only reason I'd be doing the seated cable row, so I guess it's better. Um, Larson press, nice. I like this. I'm actually going to put the Larson um, – I'll put the Larson at the bottom of the A tier. And hear me out. This is because you lack that stability. And I, I think it does a good job of teaching tightness. But outside of that, close grip bench press or camber bar bench press, I think is going to go better in terms of helping your bench press. So great stuff that you can benefit from. It's just, again, you've got to have some context here. But I do still think it's an S tier exercise. It's still something that I would – program on a high consistent basis for people uh next incline dumbbell bench press actually gonna put it below the regular one i think i like it better than dips it's kind of i'm gonna say yeah i like it better than dips uh because if you do need some extra shoulder work you can 
go with an incline to get some of that and not have to do the overhead, um, but still get chest recruitment. So hopefully that helps. Um, I think this is a Smith machine bench press from what I can tell. Trash. Uh, we will give it, I'm going to give it top of the D tier. Still benching, still getting some chest and shoulders, but honestly, out of all these other exercises, I still choose the rear delt raises over that just because I don't think there's a whole lot there. Um, I'm assuming this is just a regular lateral raise is what it's really after. I know it's after the, I can't remember what it's called, the four inch of motion ones. We'll put the lateral raises here at the bottom of C tier. Not bad, not bad. Um, looks like this next one would be chin-ups or pull-ups. I know people are going to say, what the junk? It's not a direct mover. No, but guess what? If you can do a lot of chin-ups, you can probably bench press a lot. So good correlation there between those exercises. Peck fly machine. This is a tough one, too, because I love this machine. I love the contraction I get. I love the way it feels. It hits my pecs. So we'll actually go the top of B tier. Um, because you're still training the same muscles that are going to work, pecs primarily. Um, but I do love the seal row. But I kind of kind of go off specificity here just a little bit. So I'm going to go top of B tier. Dumbbell fly, I'm actually going to... So here's, here's the thing. The dumbbell fly is actually going to be less because at the end of the range of motion, there's no more... Um, because of the way gravity works, there's no more tension at the top. You lose your tension about here, right? So with a machine, you have that tension the whole time. So that's why I think the machine gets the edge in this case in terms of building your bench press. So just keep that in mind. Barbell overhead press. Now, if you would have asked me this, man, 10 years ago, probably would have put this pretty high. Knowing what I know now, I don't think it helps your bench press that much. Um, so I'm going to put it above the dumbbell version just because it is still very pretty big compound movement. Straight arm lat pull down. I'm actually going to put this above the uh, pullover. Do you get better tension there? Again, don't think it's going to be a make or break thing. Now, I do like this exercise for deadlift in terms of teaching your lat tightness, but I don't really like it. Necessarily to help your bench press. Uh, more curls. Honestly, well, we'll pick these over the hammer curl just because it can help keep your elbows happy still. Bent over barbell row. I've talked about this exercise a billion times. It's, I feel like it's in these a lot. Um, bent over barbell row for me is going at the bottom of C tier. Again, good exercise, but with the pin lay and everything else, I'm drifting towards those, and this is just not worth the risk and reward. Swiss bar, I'm assuming it's supposed to be Swiss bar floor press because it looks like he's on a floor press. I think this is actually an elite FTS picture. Um, I'm going A tier or S tier, um, and we'll go, we'll steep it at the bottom S tier. Still an exercise I love to program, especially for athletes. Um, just a good quality exercise, and it will help your bench press. Uh, shrugs. Nada. Nada. Love big traps, love neck work, but I'm I'm passing on this one. We'll, we'll put it above the biceps because it does trigger back a little bit. So we'll we'll do that. Overhead tricep extensions with the bar, easy bar. Now I don't do this exercise. One, I don't have the mobility. I don't think many people have the mobility. Number two, it can be very hard on your elbows. But it is a good tricep exercise, if all things considered. So if we can keep that in mind, it's probably the bottom of A tier for me. Um, I would pick other tricep exercises, but based on what we've got here right now. Cable tricep press down. You need it for tricep work. So honestly, I'm going to go bot or top of C tier. Um, it's one of those things where... If you don't have strong triceps, it's going to help. And I program them a lot because of extra tricep work. But 
I can still improve my bench press without doing them. And he's also using the rope attachment. So I want to get the semantics. I want the V bar, not the rope probably your bench press, but you got what I'm saying. Upright row. I've talked about this before. Not a fan, not my jam. Don't like what it does for your elbows. I'm for your elbows. I'm sorry, your shoulders. So torn here. I don't think it does anything for your bench press, honestly. I'm, I'm not. Like I, said, I don't program it, so I, I can't really validate through any of my clients' success or myself. Uh, it doesn't feel good on my shoulders. It doesn't feel a lot of people's good on a lot of people's shoulders. So I'm gonna put this at the bottom. Um. I'm so torn on this. We'll put it here. We'll put it above the bicep curl because it's probably going to help a little bit. And weighted push-ups. For your bench press, that's tough. Um, you know what? I'm going to go I'm gonna go bottom of A tier here. So we'll go with that. I think bottom of A tier is good. So, all right. So I've got them all done. Let's recap here. Let's see if I want to make any final adjustments or movements. I don't think I do, but I could. So first exercise, main movement, bench press, no brainer. Next, cambered bar bench press. I like this. Give this is a nod on um, this video number two because it just works. It will build your bench press, especially if you've never used it before. No question. This looks like it's a buffalo brand bench press. And again, kind of going back to that same thing, it, it could probably be swapped interchangeably. Um, but I personally just see better results from the camera bar. Close grip bench press. Here's probably where there will be some flack. But I will say it's probably the second best exercise on the list. But again, I went off the first two, pretty much guaranteeing that my bench press is going to get better. Versus this is a pretty high probability. But again, I've had people that just don't do well with the close grip bench press. Um, and I do know there are some of those, like, quote, what I call quote unquote non responders, right? Not common. But you do get those people. Next would be floor press. Again, the only thing that limits this exercise is the range of motion. If you got long arms, but otherwise, fantastic way to teach tightness uh, around the, the chest, or but also take your legs out of the equation, um, and it's safe. So the other thing is that you know it's not going to bang up your back or anything. The Larson press, kind of the opposite of that. It does some of the same stuff that the floor press does, but. It takes a stability out, and then stability becomes a factor, and that could somewhat limit the productivity of the exercise. Not that it happens that much, but again, like the exercise, that's why it's on the S tier. To me, it's just the bottom of the S tier. And I got the Swiss bar floor press. Fantastic exercise. Just below the and press, just because you're using a different bar. Floor press, there's so many different variables. The carryover is not going to be as good as the ones up the list, but chances are it's still going to help your bench press. Nine times out of ten. A tier, we got dumbbell bench press, incline dumbbell bench press, dips, overhead tricep extensions, and push-ups. This kind of makes sense, right? These are all prime movers of the movement. Um, they're somewhat specific. You're pressing a degree or working the main movers very hard uh, and through good ranges of motion. So I think these are fantastic. Um, I'm don't regret any of these. I don't even think I change anything there. B tier, good exercises, could be better, but also could be worse. So these are things you probably should see in your program pretty commonly. But if you don't, there could be other substitutes. Pec deck machine, dumbbell flies. Again, I explained that I picked the machine over the dumbbells. Seal row, T bar row, pretty much the same thing. I just think the seal row works better, but whatever. Tripod dumbbell row, just because you can get super heavy. Um, as long as you stay good and locked in, and chin-ups. I, I think those are fantastic back exercises for your bench press. And then two top-tier, literally, two top-tier accessory exercises that you can use to develop your pecs. C-tier is going to, again, be could be worse, but it definitely could be a lot better. And these are things that's lower on your training list. Press-downs, overhead presses, um, decline dumbbell work. I talked about that. I don't like declines, just... It's not a big enough range of motion, but it can be safe. Half kneeling lat pull downs, seated cable rows, pec deck work, shoulders, bent over rows. Not bad exercises. So, got these. I think it's okay. You just got some better options there if you really wanted them. D tier, probably things that you don't need to really waste your time with. 
Smith machine, pull downs, pullovers, shrugs, upright rows, curls, airdyne bike, and two random things. My one caveat will be I do use pullovers and pull downs because they trade the lats effectively. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, they do train the lats effectively, but I like them more for the um, the deadlift just because it teaches lat tightness to keep your lats in, uh, which can be good. The straight arm lat pull down gets a pull, gets a tad nod just because you are training to actually pretend like you're pulling the bar over your face a little bit better. You get that tension at the top and at the bottom. You lack that tension at the top on the pullover. Curls, good just keep your elbows happy. And then, like I said, those other things which are pretty much useless. So that's the tier list. Let me know your thoughts. Leave in the comment section below. Again, sorry, I yawn. It's kind of late. I honestly, just been one of those days too. Um, and it's kind of catching up to me. But hopefully, this is a video that you kind of enjoyed. Again, I'm going to try to make some more tier list exercises. Again, my quick disclaimer this is not mine. Use somebody else's. So if you didn't like the exercises, take it up with whoever made it. But Hopefully this gives you an idea. I've now done all the three major exercises for the tier list, and these have been really fun to do. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way things turned out. So if you got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree, disagree? Would you change anything? Do you want to see a different tier list? Do you want to see some different exercises? Be more than happy to do that. Just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, and we'll see you at the next episode.